Hello, you guys. I don't know if you can guess what we are playing today um, by the by the uh, by the opening of the game, which says ancient aliens. Uh, today's topic of exploration is gold, king of metals, currency of kings, one of the key elements of human commerce throughout recorded history. Uh, basically, we're playing Ancient Aliens. I didn't even know it had a game until I was looking on Steam a few minutes ago, and I saw it was 19.99, and I was like, I have to check this out. Um, I haven't seen YouTube videos of it played. I haven't seen uh, Twitch videos of it being played. I haven't streamed or played it myself before, so this is a first playthrough for me. And I hope it is going to be loads of fun for you. So let's let's click continue. But how did we first come to oh, I need my shiny headphones. rock we dug out of the ground? What made us decide it was worth anything? That's a good question. I don't know why we saw like gold and we were just like, yeah, this is worth a lot. Like <laughs> I don't know how we came to that decision either. Several ancient astronaut theorists contend that some extraterrestrials may have come to Earth in our remote past, primarily to mine gold. That's an interesting concept. And so we just copied them is basically what this dude is saying. Yeah, we copied the aliens because, you know, we saw them digging the gold and we were like, oh, hold up. We need to dig that too. Like, we ain't sharing. The theory suggests their home planet required gold to repair its depleted atmosphere, and they came here to mine it sometime before recorded history. Is it possible our ancestors learned to value gold by observing extraterrestrials? And is there some undiscovered connection between gold, the ancient Egyptians, and the pyramids they built? I have no clue, dude. You're asking questions that are beyond my realm of knowledge. I will say say that why don't we try to find out i propose we employ hypnosis to regress a member of our audience back to ancient egypt any volunteers oh shoot am i gonna be the volunteer how you? uh how about no um oh goodness uh i guess i feel like <laughs> It says we can click, it says no, it says yes. I feel like it's gonna be yes, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't really feel like this is a good idea sending me back to ancient Egypt and like my character. Um. Oh shoot, that is a UFO. Unidentified flying object, here we go. And there's an alien. Oh my god! And look at him, he's like E.T. over here, E.T. in it. <laughs> Y'all remember the movie E.T.? That was so good. It says, can you understand me? Good. No, I can't understand you. There is a crisis on our home world. We need resources that can be mined from your planet to resolve it. We are here to take them. Then take them and leave me be. I do not want to get probed. Uh, in return, we will provide the means for Earth to defend itself against a cataclysmic event. A disaster which could eliminate all life on your planet. What, dude? <laughs> I don't feel like he's leaving a choice. He's like, look, there's going to be this event. We know about it beforehand where your planet is basically all life will be eliminated including you dude unless you help me that is like <laughs> that that is like a pretty big like you want to die dude <laughs> that is so that is such a what are you supposed to say says to accomplish our mission we must undertake massive construction it must begin now since your atmosphere is inhospitable to us, we must employ your people to do our work. You will serve as our intermediary. We need to enhance you beyond your current mental and physical 
capability. This process may seem unpleasant, but you will survive. What the, the whole thing is shaking? Dude, what is this? <laughs> Oh no, I got like alien fingers. If we fail, all life on both our worlds will likely perish. If we succeed, both of our planets will be uh, saved and your people will never know we were here. The Nibiru Legacy. Millions of people around the world believe we have been visited in the past by extraterrestrial beings. What if it were true? Did the ancient aliens really help to shape our history? And if so, might they come? Might they have come here in search of gold? Look, dude, I don't know about you, but whether ancient aliens came here or not, it does not affect my everyday life. Like, I, and I personally don't know if there are like extraterrestrials out there. I mean, I get space is super big. And there are other galaxies, so like, how can there not be life somewhere else out there? But you need the right, the right, like, things to come together for life to exist. Um, so, I, I don't know. Let me know your opinions. What are your opinions on the ancient alien theory? And what, do you think there are, like, extraterrestrials out there? Um, I would love to know in the comments. Let's let's get some conspiracy theories rolling while we play this. Um, it's just our mission to ensure the survival of both our species requires us to build a hydrogen reactor at this location. A city must be built to support this effort. Click con to continue. We can barely tolerate Earth's atmosphere, so you must manipulate the natives to serve as our workforce. Let us inspect one of them more closely and select designate. Uh, here is a healthy looking specimen. Bring him up to the ship and I will teach you how to conduct a proper medical exam. Select abduct. Okay, are we really kidnapping this dude? Oh look, we get to probe him. Great. I feel like we're crossing some boundaries here. Like... I feel like this is like some human rights violation. You can't just probe a dude. It says enhance a worker to increase their rate of speed for work and travel. Next stage of evolution, Minotaur. Required technology, medicine. I guess we're probing him. Uh, they are primitive, but we must work with what we have. Continue to harvest their DNA until you have enough to enhance them. For now, we return to the surface. Uh, this is your gold meter. You need to employ the natives to construct many of the structures we will require. Harvest gold from the mines or request it from trusted alleys. Um, this gold mine has recently become operational. We put, we can put some of the natives to work immediately. Let me show you how. Select mine. <laughs> The more workers you employ in each mine, the faster they can retrieve gold for us. Now go ahead and add a worker. That worker is now mining gold for us. A maximum of five workers may be designated to each mine. Enhanced workers have the ability to mine gold faster. Close the mine. It takes time for workers to mine gold. A symbol appears over a mine when 50% capacity is reached. A glow indicates full capacity click on a mine to harvest gold we shall build a hydrogen reactor out of limestone blocks this quarry is ready to be mined put some of the natives to work immediately select quarry yeah i guess i guess that's what we'll do we must convince more of the nomadic humans to settle down in this region until our mission is complete select research and i will teach you how to attract them great now we're attracting people to put into slave labor this game gets better and better. <laughs> this, this is our research facility. Humans exhibit a thirst for knowledge. You must cultivate. Start by slowly teaching them basic building skills. Construction now. We already have enough DNA collected to begin teaching them construction. Select comments research now. Teach them to crawl before they walk and to walk before they run. 
In time, we shall replace their stone tools with our pre precision instrument. But for now, let us begin with a simple hammer and chisel. Cool. Yeah, I guess this is what we're doing. Our appearance seems to terrify humans. Install a new pharaoh to rule over them and use him to relay your commands. Select the build tab. A suitable palace is required. Yep, I guess we're, uh... Okay, we have ten. This meteor measures iridium, a universal commodity. One of the rarest elements on Earth. Use it to speed up research or construction. Each earn iridium by leveling up. So I can just, like, finish this now? We cannot wait for the human to construct the fair's palace on their own. Employ some iridium. Okay, cool. Now I've reached level two. That was all it took? Just probing a dude and, like, building a palace? Cool! Uh, we have plotted coordinates for the hydrogen reactor's construction in perfect interactive alignment with our home planet, Nuru, Nibiru. Select the construction site below. Uh, you will manipulate humans to build the pyramid for us. <laughs> I, oh, it's a pyramid. Great. Uh, under ceremonial pretenses, but you can expedite construction by levitating blocks and adding them yourself. So add one block to the pier. Okay, now I exit. This meter measures plausible deniability, a resource that diminishes with every action we take. It regenerates over time as they suppress what they do not understand. To generate more plausible deniability, you can build temples to divert their attention. Destroy artifacts that prove we exist. Expend iridium or study their video transmissions. Great. Take care, Earth child. Our two worlds now share one fate. Remember, your people must never know that we were here and we will continue watching you. Dude, that sounds creepy like you're watching me. I am humbled by your invitation to serve as Pharaoh. My master, I pledge my loyalty to you as the minister of the sky gods. Your wish is my command. The name that I was called before you summoned me is meaningless. Only now does life hold purpose. Neferkara is the name I take as Pharaoh of Kemet. My counsel, you seek my counsel, master? Then might I humbly suggest you teach these homeless nomads the bounty of seed which sprouts root. Now that you have taught them the basic tenets of construction, you should show them how to build safe homes that they can proudly call their own. Uh, <laughs> collect, I, I can't, okay. Um, I, uh, okay, can I, can I not? Okay, cool. So I need to, I need to build a, do I need to like build a house? What? What do I need to do here? Future, known, current. I mean, uh, build a house. Oh, it only takes a minute, cool. So we'll build them like a small farm. Can I like move the farm though? Or does it like have to be right? Oh no, I can move it. Cool, so I can, I can just like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, uh, Maybe I'll, like, line up my farms over here. Uh, like, right there. Yay, I reached level three. Um, okay, cool. Can I build, like, another small house? I don't know where I'm supposed to put it. Um, this is, like, a very, very small house. Maybe I'll put it near, like, the mine right here because we can just, like, line some up. Okay, cool. So I have some uh, houses. Collect rewards. Excellent craftsmanship, Master. I believe it is safe to assume that every single house you build in Giza shall for transform one nomad into a villager. I see you constructed your first house to lure more workers. Remember that houses can be harvested periodically for DNA that humans shed. 
the desert. The people whisper that no crops can grow in this desert, my master. Without any crops, we cannot hope to feed a city of workers here. But you say the presence of the sky gods will provide us fertile soil from which crops will spring. So I believe it without question, master. I recommend you give the people a demonstration of the bounty of the sky gods. Show them how to build a farm that yields foods in harsh climates. I already built a farm. Cool, I'm ahead. I see you have a talent for farming, Earth Child. I am pleased. Remember that each farm can sustain two villagers, allowing them to act as workers. The farms can be upgraded to feed more workers if necessary. Remember to balance the number of farms and houses to maximize your allotted buildings. Cool, cool. So, so now what do do y'all want me to do? If your if our experiment was a success, you should wake up to find yourself living in ancient Egypt. Try to indicate you're safe and ready to continue. Good, and I can tell you're calm by the way you're breathing. Search the vicinity for artists' facts that suggest the presence of extraterrestrials. You seem troubled. Is anything wrong? No. Good. I have a task for you. The humans may try to record the wonders they see us perform. Artifacts that can prove we were here post-mission must be destroyed. Identify artifacts that could uh, reduce our plausible deniability. Uh, tap or click any artifact to target it for, for destruction. Okay. Um, I see you have encountered a golden artifact. The humans here labor for many days to craft these and value them deeply. We will award you extra for their... For their destruction. There's like some nice DNA. Um, I feel like I should. I mean, I don't have like loads of houses. Uh, I think I. Oh, I need to destroy five artifacts. This is this is kind of fun. Like they're just like telling you what you need to do and you're going and doing it that makes this easy like there's no no thought process like i don't need to think very hard and the storyline is kind of interesting like it's it's fun um there's some things maybe if it personally if it were me i might want to leave out of the storyline like maybe probing humans was like going too far you know um that just may be me i need to destroy one more artifact where where though where and i lost myself in the desert oh here we are is there any artifact that i can like destroy Cool, I destroyed a bunch. Collect rewards, continue. Outstanding, keep targeting artifacts that could reveal we were here. Each artifact you destroy increases our plausible deniability. Ancient text describes beings that descended from the sky in flying vehicles and drawings look remarkably like modern day astronauts in spacesuits. Some appear to be wearing boots and helmets, even breathing apparatuses. Why would they be wearing suits like modern day astronauts use today? Maybe they couldn't tolerate Earth's atmosphere. Look for carvings or statues that depict gods wearing what appear to be spacesuits. Uh, zero out of three ancient astronauts collected. Fine art, <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like the alien dude would not like me doing this. Um, I feel like he would not be cool for me looking for these, uh, these statues, I'll have you know. Um, I feel like, I feel like I'm more on the alien side at, the, at this point. Um, because, like I said, he, he said he needs us for, like, both our wor worlds to survive. You found a statue that's clearly wearing a spacesuit and helmet. It's go certainly going to help prove the ancient astronaut theory. Building a hydrogen reactor will require tremendous workforce. We must bring more of these nomadic humans under our influence. They seek shelter from their sun and will marvel at the dwellings we provide. 
build new homes to entice more of them to settle here. I can do that. And what's this one? Build farms and houses to increase the human populations. Uh, okay, um, let's build. <laughs> we'll build. Uh, no, I want this right here. Continue. Yeah, I'm, I'm building things. Okay, I feel like... Oh, there's this. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's... Let's build, like, a, another farm because we want to, like... You know, like, two farms to every house. Or, like, one farm to every two houses, I feel like is a pretty good balance. Okay, I need to build another farm. Continue! I reached level 7. Cool. Just by placing stuff. Yeah, we'll build that. Cool, I built enough farm so I can collect that reward, and then I just need to to build some houses here. Uh, let's do, like, another house. We'll do, we'll, we'll start, like, we'll, we'll put it right here. Yeah, now we got, like, a bunch of houses. What did I tell you? Build shelters and new villagers appear like magic. Keep building houses until we have assembled um, amassed the- I don't know what that means. Thank you for acknowledging my call, Master. I am pleased to report the construction of the Great Pyramid has begun on time as constructed. As you expected, the villagers were awestruck by the fiery display of your sky chariot as you destroyed all those sculptures from above. They believe the sky gods have arrived and speak only through me. So my word is now law. They call for a the call for able bodies workers has gone out. I understand the completion of the pyramids is our most sacred priority. Please assign more workers to the quarry to expedite construction. Put five new workers to work in the quarry. I can do that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. Collect the rewards. The This pharaoh, Neferkara, seems well chosen. He appears loyal. You should enhance him. Our long-term goals requires a lineage of kings to carry on our DNA. Oh, yikes. Um, the pyramids were built with precisely carved blocks that weigh one to five tons on average. Were they cut with hammers, chisel, and copper, copper wiles? Even so... Could they have transported these massive stones for miles and then lifted them so precisely in place without a pulley system or wheel? I doubt it. Extraterrestrials must have provided the Egyptians with the technology, know-how, and tools. Search the quarry for any evidence of this. Our stone-cutting machines are hidden deep within the quarry, running day and night, but humans can only transport one block at a time. Construction must remain on schedule. When no one is watching, you can use the ships abduction beam to set additional blocks in bl place place limestone blocks on the great pyramid uh, do, 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 do. Uh, one two three four five six seven eight okay uh, do, 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 do. What, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, place limestone blocks on the Great Pyramid. Where Where is this pyramid that I am building? Right here. Okay. Add one block. Add a block. Add a block. Add a block. Place limestone blocks on the Great Pyramid. How do I do that? It just says the, the, it says where? On the Great Pyramid. Well, I guess this, 
Is there another pyramid I should be aware of? No, I don't want to quit playing. Uh, but I feel like there's another pyramid that I should be aware of because this, this, this doesn't, this doesn't feel like the only, um, the only pyramid here. Add one block, add one block. I can add a thousand. Oh, holy moly. Um, place limestone blocks on the Great Pyramid. Uh, collect rewards. They move the blocks without any technology impossible. If we go to the quarry and look at the machines required, those machines are huge. <laughs> They're real huge when you're just like using your points. Uh, my master word has spread far and wide that any skilled craftsmen or laborers shall find the best housing food and jobs here in Giza new workers arrive daily seeking work nearly as fast as new homes can be built soon we will have amassed the workforce to require of course we will require gold to pay these craftsmen I suggest you assign more workers to the mine to increase gold production uh, six new villagers to work in the uh, in the mine I can I can do that um one, two, three, four, five in the mine. Um, mm, see, I can only put five in the mine. So do I need to, is there another mine? Uh, is, is that a, is that like a mine? Can I, is, am I missing something? Cause like, that's the quarry. I did the quarry. This is the mine. I need, I need to place one more worker. Um, but it, it, it won't let me. It won't, I, I, I literally can't. Um, okay, well, I'll build a house. Cause that solves everything. Yeah, I'll just build that one there. Um, can I now put another? No, I can't. No. Um, do I have to like build a, a second mine? Oh, so I can I can build like a whole. You can't move. Okay, let's exit. Um, can I can I build a mine? Okay, let's put one person there. Aha, I figured it out. Um, genius. Genius move. Oh, okay, um, let's co collect rewards. <laughs> Neff Farker pays his craftsmen in gold. Does he? Very well. You may indulge him for now, but be wary. Humans tend to grow drunk with power. Um... <laughs> Although we share many basic characteristics with these humans, we have clearly developed beyond them both mentally and physically. Harvest some residual DNA from each house and we will use it to condition their primitive brains to increase their learning capacity. I love his hand movements too while well, he's just like yoga moves. <laughs> Once you have harvested enough DNA, you may research anatomy and teach it to humans. We are curious to see how much they, they comprehend. Cool. Um, anatomy. Commence research. Cool. Um, can I research this too? No, because I'm busy researching anatomy. That's fine. Take, it only takes like 51 seconds. Can I build another farm? I kind of want to like build another farm. I think that'd be that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I'm building building stuff. Let's just let's start building this way. This whole 
line of like teeny teeny homes. Yeah, I'm I'm researching anatomy, dude. I am, I am, I am, I am. This is fun. I'm actually like enjoying this a lot. I mean, can, should I start like abducting people? Can I abduct the 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 pharaoh? Collect rewards. Well taught. Knowledge of anatomy has set them on the path to self awareness. Now you have prepared them for an introduction to medicine. Cool. The natives are polytheistic, worshiping multiple deities like Osiris, god of the underworld, or his sister Isis, god of magic. I say these gods were just flesh and blood space travelers misinterpreted as divine creatures because of the technology they use. Remember Clark's third law? Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Your phone would seem like the god of voice. Discover what you can about the origins of their belief in these gods and see if there's evidence of alien manipulation behind it. Uh, research poly to see if this was an alien control method. Confirm. Cool. Um, can I? I can commence research. That takes how long? One minute. Okay. I thought. I thought it was gonna say that that took like. I don't know, like 50 minutes, and I was gonna be like, dude, I don't have time for that. That is crazy. I'm gonna build another house though, just cause I like building them. I've got this like whole, whole line of houses, very neatly, very neatly placed. We'll do another farm, you know, just cause like people need food, you know, just to be nice, you know, I'm like, I'm like a good leader. Thank you very much. Leading these, uh, you know, working both sides of the, uh, the, uh, field. I'm, like, pretending I'm in cohorts with the alien and trying to save both worlds. Meanwhile, I'm like, yeah, I'll prove aliens exist over here to you, mister. Um, I think we'll end this right here because I could go on with this all day. We will definitely play it another day. Uh, tell me what you guys thought of it, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. And if you want, um, depending on how many save slots, we can maybe even do like a whole new save on um, on Twitch. I'll find out. Are you sure you want to save your progress? Yes, I do. Okay, you guys, we have saved and exited and... Yeah, if you want, we I, I can see if I can do, like, a, a Twitch, play this on Twitch, too. Um, probably, like, either after we, uh, we play the game on, like, YouTube for a while, or if there is a second save slot. Um, I don't know if there is yet, uh, so we'll see. Um, but let me know if you want me to play more games like this. Did you think it was cool? I, I definitely... I, I was feeling like the 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 ancient alien vibes like I remember the TV show and that guy with the like crazy hair he was iconic in that show it was on the history channel um I mean it wasn't what was taught in my history books at school but it was cool it was cool it was a cool show and um I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all tomorrow if today is your birthday happy birthday don't forget to click the subscribe button and the like button. It helps us out in the YouTube algorithm. Um, it's free and uh, it makes my day. So um, yeah, hit, hit, hit subscribe. It, it'd be cool if you did. You can join the Knox Squad once you hit subscribe and be a be part of the Knox fam. And um, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye everybody.